Hello, it's Lindsay, and in today's video, I am doing a collaboration with Heidi from Boy Boss Mama and Jessica from The Waldock Way. And I'm a little late to the party, guys, but I saw their videos and I was invited and I didn't get a chance to film over the weekend. So I wanted to film now and share with you guys what I am doing for my Thanksgiving morning time basket. And they had a lot of great ideas. There's a lot of um, ladies that joined the collab. So check the playlist down below because I went through all of them last night and I was inspired. They got they had a lot of great ideas. Ideas. Heidi is such a cool friend of mine and she's super fun so her channel is all about homeschooling three boys and that is a lot of work so if you have boys and you need a little bit of inspiration and encouragement to to pep you up for the day go check out her channel and Jessica from the Waldock Way has lots of great activities in her homeschool basket as well so I'm going to start and share with you guys how I kind of start my homeschool basket we usually do a devotional and like you guys know I have several devotionals but this one has been the one that my kids have been drawn to lately and we put away the indescribable one right now because we are kind of relaxing and doing more of a Thanksgiving and fall theme this month because we were doing the solar system unit study. And so this has been such a great devotional. We are also reading out loud during lunch, uh, Farmer Boy, which is going really well. And it kind of ties into Thanksgiving because right now they're talking about um, planting corn with their father. And it's really, really neat how um, they prep their land and how they do harvesting. And um, it's really, really a great book for boys. And I really like reading this book because my son really likes it because it's about a nine-year-old boy working on a farm and going to school. So this is a really fun book. And I didn't know that, but I'm sure everybody knew. But this boy, Almanzo, he actually is Laura Ingalls' um, husband. And I don't know why I never knew, but yeah, I just found that out. <laughs> so here is like the stack of my poetry books, which is a lot. I love poetry and I for some reason um, find a lot of poetry books. Um, in the past three years of homeschooling this fall colors book is great for my daughter to read to us in the morning. I have this all the year round um, vintage book that was made very um, early in I think the 1900s and this is a book about nature and animals and they talk about corn and squirrels and all of the fun things for the fall. This book is great. It is the autumn months and there's a lot of morning talks in here with lots of questions talking about the weather. They have little poems all throughout it. They have little crafts and things that you can do and drawings and busy work ideas and this was something that I got um, that is well worth it for any of those that are inspired by Charlotte Mason. I have a video on all of these books that I got and this is month by month books and they start by um, they do every season and they have October in here which we did and then over here and they have first week second week um, third week fourth week this is November to cultivate kindness is a great part of the business of life and then they have picture studies in here and then they have these really cute um, calendars and they talk about the vegetables and potatoes and pumpkins um, grains so every week has a theme in this book it's a book I got from a teacher it's grades K through to its poem of the week and this one I just tabbed because I wanted to read the Thanksgiving poem and I thought they gave really good ideas they actually have spell it out Thanksgiving and for every line they want you to write a sentence for the letter that starts with Thanksgiving so T thank you for H happy days at the beach a, apples in the fall, and noodles in my soup. So it's really, really cute. So I think we're going to do something like this. And um, it's a really cute Thanksgiving poem. I also have a child garden of verses. And I just tabbed one of these poems that is talking about autumn fires. And that is a really beautiful illustration here. This is like a Charlotte Mason um, inspired poetry book. This is an art and nature poetry book that I actually found at a thrift store and there is the Metropolitan Museum of Art Pictures and they have a whole section on fall and they have a section for spring and summer and a lot of these pictures are beautiful and sometimes we might just look at the pictures. Sometimes we read this one. This is a girl that is peeling apples and we kind of studied the pictures on it and 
I read the poem. Sometimes it goes over their head, but it's just a nice thing to read for myself, too, and just to have the kids talk about the pictures that these artists have created. And it's a really, really fun little book, so you can try going to your thrift store or maybe going online and trying to find this, but this was just a, a book I got for like a dollar at the thrift store, and it really works out well with our poetry. If you can't find books like that, this one is always a good one, The Books of Nature, and we use this all the time. I wouldn't say we use it every week, but we use it a couple times throughout the month, and they have um, seasonal poetry too, Wiley's Change Color in the Fall, Something Told the Wild Geese, sorry about the glare, November with a squirrel, and like I said, even if you don't read the poems, um, which we try to read the poems because they're so beautiful, um, they have such great photographs that are so real. Everyone has this, The Magic Treehouse. We read it last year. We're going to read it again. This is a really fun book because you could read these books in like two days if your kids are really into it because it's a very, very easy read. So that is what I have. And then I actually was watching the collaboration video and I have history f stories for children. This was a book I got from a curriculum back in the days from Heart of Dakota. So if you're familiar with my journey of homeschooling, I started with Heart of Dakota, and this is their history book. And Mrs. Mom, I will link her channel down below, she had this in her basket. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that there's the Mayflower and Pilgrims, and they talk about Squanto, and they have little vocabulary words and questions at the end. So they have lots of different um, Thanksgiving stories. They're a little bit more in-depth. Um, this is more of a storyline, and they do talk about history in here, but then this one is just plain old history. But I've read it this morning, and it's really, really good. I like it a lot, how they do it. It's very simple and quick. And then this is an Abeka um, reader for a first grader. And so my daughter, maybe I'll have her read this, and they have words to watch for. Now, if she doesn't read this, I will probably read it. It is like a first grade level, but it's one... 0.9, so it's a little bit higher than a first grade, close to second grade. And then more about pilgrims. So this is from a Becca. So I just got this at a thrift store. And then I have, um, my mom has teacher friends, and then they gave me this cute little, you know, laminated first Thanksgiving. This will be good for my preschooler. And at the back, they have draw or paste pictures in the space to tell about the story. And so what they would eat, I guess. They could draw what they would like to eat for Thanksgiving. So those are cute. I have a cute little puzzle patch picture that I got from a teacher too with all the cute little apple leaf seeds and walnuts and walnut leaves. And this is so precious. My kids have been playing with this um, for the past um, month, like in October and for November. And then I was going to have her draw and write out of one of these books, maybe like a page she could, um, she could actually write something from a page of a book that she likes and draw the picture so I thought that would be fun. I also have lots of fall little worksheets from the teacher that has given me all these cute little things for my son to do because he is a preschooler and my daughter will probably like it too. These books are great for early readers because my daughter is starting to read and she loves this one. It's I Am Thankful. That one's a really cute book and then Erin loves Apples and Pumpkins. And then we got this from the library too, Pumpkin Day. So if you don't have any of these books, don't feel like you need to go buy them. I would suggest to go to the library because the library has lots of great resources. I also have one little, two little, three little pilgrim. I'll show you the inside. My mom got us this book. I think she thrifted it, but it's so cute. And it's good for counting, so it's good for my little um, preschooler, like I said. And then you can't do Thanksgiving without reading. Beatrix Potter. I think Beatrix Potter is just a great, great um, author, and she has the tale of Squirrel Nutkin. This is the tale of Squirrel Nutkin. How adorable. He's so cute. So if you happen to go to the library, this is a cute one to read about. More books. We got this one, Over the River and Through the Woods, a while ago. And you guys, most of them are probably thrifted. This one's a good one because we sing the song. Oh, I love Corduroy so much. He's like my favorite little childhood character. Um, I can't even open it up. It's a cute little board book that my daughter can read to my son. We just read this, Clifford's Thanksgiving Visit. So funny. And then The Leaf Season by Clifford, which is really good, too. And then, of course, my favorite from Wendy Dunham. She is just a very special person. 
I reached out to her because I saw her books on Instagram like months and months ago and she gave me the whole entire series. So I got Autumn is Apple Pie and then there's little scripture memorizations for it and little comprehension questions and lacing cards and a lot of crafts that she sent me to go along with it, which is wonderful because I don't have to print it out. <laughs> and then I have a Usborne step-by-step drawing book and I figured let me just use all the resources I have in my house so I don't have to print a lot of things off my printer and <laughs> it's drawn in by somebody else how to draw trees so I thought this would be cool she just looks at this or my son can look at this and they can make little trees that is very very easy and simple for them and then I found I think I found something else oh yes I found a pirate ship and I thought it really symbolized the Mayflower that is pretty close to what I think in my head a Mayflower looks like we just won't call it a pirate ship so that would be that was a really fun um, thing that I found and then I found a little squirrel that we can draw that would be fun to draw on our chalkboard and then that is just our little drawing books that I like to have that's our little like thing that we do once or twice out of the month um, if they want to do more they can do more and then this is another thing that we do only once in a while in my little rotating subjects manners can be fun and I thought this would be a really good thing to talk about since we're going to be going to someone else's house for Thanksgiving. When we're at the table we have a good time because we eat what we should and talk about pleasant things and have seen and done. And then it says we don't have puffy cheeks from talking with our mouths full and we don't choke because we don't drink while when we still have food in our mouths. Um, so there's all of these things about saying please and thank you. It's just a very cute I book. I found a please and thank you book from Bookshark um, that I had in my bookshelf. And this is a visit with Tilly and they're going to a party and they're learning how to say please and thank you and all of those wonderful manners that your kids need to know. And then I have this really cute game with all of these like laminated cards I made. Um, this is from fieldfolderfund.com. And it's supposed to be a folder card, but I just leave it like this. So all the bad mannered monsters go under that bed and all the good mannered monsters go in here. So they have little sayings on them like, I don't like you, you're so mean. So they'll put that in the bad manners monster or can I help you with your groceries with the monster saying and then they put it in this side. So all of the little cutouts are there. So that's a really good fun game that they like to do and it helps my daughter read and then my kids can do it together. And one last thing. I have this cute little craft that my daughter did when I hung out with my friends. We did a little lentil and a bean, like kidney bean, fall tree. I did it on some cardstock and I just freehanded it and she just traced it with the beans and these are all the leaves that are falling from the tree for the fall. So that one was really fun to do. Very therapeutic, very, very um, detail oriented. So it's good for someone that's, you know, five, six, seven years old. My son did a pumpkin too, but it was like, you know, crazy mess, but it looked really cute as well. So that is just all of the things that I have put in my little basket here. I will stuff everything in there and I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a very long video, um, but I hope you guys enjoy all of the resources. And like I said, don't stress out about all of these seasonal morning baskets. If you don't have the resources, go to the library and use that to your advantage. And find fun things online. And you can freehand stuff like that. You don't have to print everything out. You can make things simple to benefit you and how you homeschool your kiddos. Try to just be true to who you are and have so much fun this Thanksgiving. I want to thank Heidi from Boy Boss Mama for asking me to do this and Jessica from The Waldock Way. Go ahead and check out all of the videos in the playlist like I did last night. I, I went through all of them and everyone has such a different style so it was great to get some inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.